Today we are going to build this uh, amplifier kit, which I uh, bought a while ago from AliExpress. Let's have a look quick to the PCBs. So they are really small, factor. And I already separate the, the components on two bugs, one per each uh, board. Like that we're going to build one on camera and I'm going to build the other one off camera. I decided to build this amplifier because I tried already the L12 previous version and was really working nice. And this claims to be the L12 version 5, how you can see over here, and it's a bit a small uh, factor because the one I built it a while ago, you can see on this video, I'm going to test to see if it's matching the specs on the listing. So it's, uh, let me this screw should be quite this size. One, they should not be and the metal part really of the nice. transistor. So then I watched also a few videos of uh, Michael Benny that uh, he built it and looks like he had some issues, saying that uh, was unstable and uh, was not working fine. He did few videos fixing the issue. So. I'm gonna have a look also in his videos, I already watched a few of them, and see if it's really that problem what uh, he explained on his videos. And I actually traced a big uh, PCB board and uh, have a look if it's uh, quite similar with the previous version, and uh, I can say it's a totally different schematic, because on the previous version, the transistor that was in charge with the BIOS was a NPN transistor, and in this one is a PNP transistor, and uh, how the connections going around the PCB is totally different, so definitely it's not a L12, we are dealing with a different schematic. And these are all the parts that need to go on this uh, PCB board. Four power transistors, a medium power transistor over there, signal transistors. The capacitors, they don't look the really cheap ones, so are quite good quality. Some uh, 3 watts resistor and uh, 2 watts resistor and 5 watts resistor, few film capacitors over there, and all the resistors over there. I already put them by the values over there, so everything what I need to do is to put them on the board and solder. So without further ado, let's uh, begin. So I'm going to do only one board on camera and another one I'm going to do off camera and we're going to see if we manage to do also a full test on it with the oscilloscope test and uh, spectrum analyzer or oh, otherwise uh, at least we're going to build it up power to see if the power goes good and nothing goes bang and if the video is too long we're going to carry on with the part two on it. So. I'm going to do a lapse time on uh, building up and uh, we're going to carry on with explanation if I find something wrong on the PCB or something like that uh, at the end of this uh, lap time. Down in the workshop, light slow, tool set, simple touch, fires up the bench, no regrets, vintage jams humming with the broken past, he brings them back to life, making old gear last, schematic on the screen, probes in his head, tracing every fall like a one-man band, DIY warrior with a steady technique, he turns dead circuits into something unique, simple tech on the scope, making old gear shine, from grills to a rex series, winds time, fixing every cap, chasing every line, turning broken. Forever in a working just fine Yeah, he teaches while he works That's the tech we respect
speeds and the circuits fail He doesn't back down, he follows every trail From dead channels, burned traces, parts running wreck He resurrects the classics with precision and respect Here we go, all the small resistors are in, so I'm gonna carry on with the, some small components over there and transistors that are small and then I'm gonna come with the bigger resistors maybe and bigger capacitors, so yeah, let's do another up time. Down in the workshop, light slow tool set. Symbol tech fires up the bench, no regrets. Vintage jams humming with a broken past. He brings them back to life, making old gear last. Schematic on the screen, probes in his hand, tracing every fault like a one man band. DI warrior with a steady technique. He turns dead circuits into something unique. Symbol touch on the scope, making old gear shine from Krells to Oryx. He rewinds time, fixing every cap, chasing every line, turning broken forever into working just fine. Yeah, he teaches while he works, that's the tech we respect. This is the world of Symbol Tech. Go. This is how the board looks uh, without power transistors. Looks everything nice. All the solder joints there looks really cool. And what I'm doing now to solder the power transistors, I have these uh, standoffs over there because I'm gonna put them underneath. Like that, I'm gonna have the power transistor on the right. Uh, 
distance from the heat sink to the board like that I can put everything in a heat sink also the board with some standoffs and uh, yeah let's uh, let's do also that one so here I need the uh, 0281 0281 so 0281 are these ones so I need them to go like that I need to try to put the standards over there then I need to do the same also on this side if I find the other standard is there it's not an easy job let me try again I'm gonna say let's first put all the transistors and after the transistor we're going to try to put in these standoffs a little bit of sliding in same also in this side Right, then transistor try to put them straight, align them straight with the PCB. Straight as much possible. I'm going to try to solder them. Yeah, well, it really looks quite neat, right? Maybe if I look a bit from the side. From this side, they look okay. Yeah, so let's solder also these ones. Like that we can then uh, try to power them. We have to be careful to don't move too much the transistors. Because uh, they need to stay in the right position. Otherwise, it will not be perfect. And be generous with the solder over here because this one are driving the current. So the better solder joint, better current to drive it in. Now let's also do this side. And I was gonna say that we are done. Solder nice in place. This one is a bit well, we can straighten it. And uh, yeah, looks really cool. Just chop the excess leads over here. And yeah, tell me what do you think about uh, building this uh, this board? Looking good. Took me maybe. 40 minutes because I film it, but maybe without filming half an hour to build everything. And uh, yeah, the unique things what uh, now it is, I don't have ready at heat sink for it and I also drill the holes and uh, put it on the heat sink. And uh, this is the problem, I can't power this uh, right now because you can't power this one if you don't put it on the on the heatsink. So yeah, I think uh, we might need to close this part one over here. I'm gonna look for a heatsink, and we're gonna come with the part two, and we're gonna power on 
test the audio sound and uh, to also oscilloscope test because I need to prepare the heat sink, I need to drill holes, I need to find insulator and washers over here and some screws because when the kit doesn't give you screws for it so it needs to supply by yourself but overall yeah it's a nice uh, kit to put together and it doesn't take too long just pay attention to make sure you put the right resistor on the right place and I'm pretty sure nothing can go wrong we we're gonna see on the next part definitely I want to say big thanks to Stuart from uh, 22B2 YouTube channel which uh, he made these songs for me and also big thanks to my uh, channel members which are uh, Laptop Fix YouTube channel, JFix YouTube channel, Rusty Ross Repair YouTube channel and Grandpa's Bench on YouTube. And if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a like and uh, if you are new watching my video and you are interested on this project how it goes please subscribe activate notification bell like that you'll not miss the next part when I'm gonna power on this amplifier and see what it's doing. And also if you are interested on all the tools what I have around my working bench and I'm using daily and I'm happy with them, check the links on the description down below. I'm gonna put uh, useful things there and if you might like something and you want to have it in your working bench, feel free to use the link on the description down below. Until the next one guys, have a good day and bye bye.